September is National Suicide Prevention Month, and the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention says it's the 10th leading cause of death in the U.S. For today's Center Solutions COVID edition, Christy Edwards and Melanie Sighs explain how to help a loved one or yourself. The first step is to recognize the signs of somebody who may have suicidal thoughts. Withdrawing from friends, family, uh, kind of isolating, uh, dramatic mood swings, impulsive, uh, reckless behavior, giving away possessions, uh, saying goodbye to family and friends. Sai says that there are usually a combination of factors that could make somebody more at risk, like a family history of suicide, substance abuse, or recent tragedy in that person's life. She also says men are four times more likely to die by suicide, although women tend to make more attempts. With COVID-19 keeping more people isolated, it does not necessarily mean there will be an increase in suicide. We have easier access to mental health than we've ever had, so um, it is not really inevitable. So we just have to keep paying attention. We've got the technological advances like the telehealth. You've got flexibility with that treatment. You can see a therapist, a psychologist, a psychiatrist, your medical doctor without even leaving the house. So um, we're hoping that that will continue to help the people that need it the most. It can be hard to process feelings of hopelessness and isolation. And if you are struggling, there are resources online and in our community to help. If you notice signs in somebody, it's vital to step in. A lot of people don't want to, you know, intrude or overstep and right now we're just saying you've got it you, if you see a friend or a family member that's struggling you have to be that person that pushes forward ask if they're thinking about suicide especially if you, you know if there's known risk factors um, you know that melanie uh, mentioned earlier you've got to ask the questions are you thinking about it have you considered do you have a plan i can get you in touch with someone and you're never alone if you are struggling and need help. We have the lifeline right here on your screen. You can call that number 24-7. It's 1-800-273-8255. For more information about suicide prevention, head to our website at yourbasin.com. We'll have a link to the Center Solutions COVID Edition podcast with those details.